my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into Scorpio for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Scorpionic placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before we get started, check me out on Etsy and your dis in the description below. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that's the only place, the only way you can get a read from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. Also check out my free radio show. It is in the description. Playbacks are on there. I pull cards for every zodiac sign. We listen to music and um, just by adding me on there you're automatically entered into any giveaway I do other than that score let's see what's going on with you <clears throat> oh wow I just got this image of someone crossing a finish line <clears throat> Now I'm seeing finish line the shoe store. That's like literally one person. Like your crush works there or something. I don't know what that is. Same kind of energy though. Ooh, let's get into it. Okay, so this is an opportunity for a new start that's coming for you, Scorpio. Um, and this is the main, this is like the most important part of it. We have the single-mindedness card. This one says, choose choose your own path is and what is best suited for you um choose your own path and what is best suited for you and then we have unexplained wonder rediscover your zeal so there's like an opportunity for you to do something that you want to do it could be something new it could be something that you always wanted to do but you're you're having an opportunity come around come up in it um so an opportunity to actually like live it so you're definitely going to have to optimize that single-mindedness. Once this opportunity comes, I mean, fine, you know, you can tell people about it, but I wouldn't even, I definitely wouldn't ask for anyone's opinion or even for advice. <laughs> like, trust your intuition, Scorpio. Scorpio's intuition is on point. Trust your intuition. You don't need anyone else for this. And if you do, reach out to the universe, spirit, God, the divine, that kind of thing, your guides, not people. <laughs> not people we have unexplained wonder magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life your answered are your prayers are being answered now beautiful so tapping into that energy we have card number 14 then card number 44 and then card number 40 so that's four 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 and then a one and a zero in there um but yeah a lot of four is here so you may be seeing some four 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 too big opportunistic energy big opportunity um rediscover your zeal pay attention to the passion that you're feeling for discovery learning exploration spirituality travel your work and your relationships passion and desire go together especially as inspiration so are you passionate about it do you want it you know passion and desire go hand in hand so tapping into this energy i'm telling you scorpio you have an opportunity to rediscover that lost part of yourself we have pushed to the surface, so this lets me know you're likely getting out of a space where there was either a lot of, um, like a pushback that you got on this journey, or this is an energy of you like finally just reaching your destination after things have been stagnant and divine timing is, it's more of a thing of divine timing versus you like working on this super hard uh, in the recent past. Push to the surface, you may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So yeah, you guys, tapping into this energy. There's a breakthrough happening. We have empowered yourself, like be confident about this decision, which is why it's important not to look to other people for, you know, that confirmation. Um, tune into your personal power. You're more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be strong, beautiful, and the person that you're capable of being. So yeah, this is a solo journey. This is a solo moment, I guess I'll say. It doesn't feel like a journey per se. It's more of an opportunity that I guess, yeah, will take you on a journey, but this is more about a solo opportunity. And I feel like once you're in that life and you're naturally busy, like I'm getting this image of someone getting an opportunity to be some sort of actor, be on a reality show or something like that, like get some sort of fame or be in a new circle uh, of people. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease, go inward, bringing your understanding and perspective into the flow will help your dreams take flight. So yeah, I feel like 
once you're actually in this um once you're actually in this new environment it's going to be easy for you to like you're already going to be there living out your dream so it's going to be easy for you to not be persuaded um you know not to be in the opportunity like once you take the opportunity you're already there so you're not going to tell the you're not going to quit on it you got know what i mean <laughs> i don't know why that was so hard to get out but yeah gliding through currents this is just about kind of like going through the motions um till you're there messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to hear? this is interesting oh oh okay hold on hold on what is happening we have the star and the sun that came out together the star and the sun for me as a reader does indicate fame wow 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 this is like being at the top of your game this is like being very popular very famous going viral that kind of thing but the star is in reverse so this lets me know perspective is everything for you during this time scorpio if you allow other people to make you feel guilty or make you feel like you don't deserve this or convince you not to go for an opportunity, not to take an opportunity, it's going to feel wrong. You're going to self-sabotage it. It's not going to feel right. We got the fool in reverse and the world in reverse. So you could honestly end up giving up this opportunity to someone else, quitting on it. There's definitely an energy here of... You know, even though this is being offered to you, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, someone could easily convince you not to push through to that next level. Spend a week by yourself, Scorpio, and I would honestly spend two weeks, but I'm a Cancer, so I kind of go in hermit mode a lot. Um, so, you know, it's up to you, but at least a week spend by yourself. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Decide what you want, rediscover your zeal. And I'm getting this image of like someone on a computer and they find this amazing opportunity, they apply for it. But if you're not spending that week alone, you're on your computer, you see this amazing opportunity, you show your friend, and they're like, they have something negative to say about it, so you don't end up doing it. And it's just like, now they're, you know, now you don't get it. Five of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck, some of you guys aren't even gonna see the opportunity because you are gonna allow other people um, to be a part of your journey. If you've been feeling like doing something, do it this week. I'm telling you, because some of you, this isn't an opportunity that's being like literally handed into your, you know, your lap. This is something that you are seeking because you rediscover, okay, what is it that's going to make me happy? What do I want to do? Single mindedness, take some time alone, take some time to get everyone else's energy off of you, do a spiritual bath and tap into what's going to make you happy and what you want out of this life. We got the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So you're definitely not alone here, Scorpio, but you're going to have to fight for this. You're going to have to declare this. You're going to have to go for it. Three of Wands in reverse. A lot of you are waiting for something to come into you, and this is an opportunity to create. I had such a harsh reading for Cancer um, because Cancer had a message where it's like, you know, after all of this ascension, it's kind of like when you start working at a job and first you're crew member and then you're assistant manager and then you're manager. Once you're assistant manager, you're not going to be micromanaged as much as the crew. Once you're a manager, you run the shit. You know, you have the power. And that's exactly which, what ascension is like as well. Once you ascend and you know you, you've gone through these awakenings and transformations, you're more and more in the driver's seat and the universe lets go more and more. You know, and it's like you can always ask for things and I don't feel like there will ever be a time where we get like so high up that we can't ask for things anymore we lose support that's not the point but like control the control you have completely 
and it grows as you ascend. So if you can admit that you've gone through an ascension, then you also have to admit, I'm, I'm, I'm more in the driver's seat. I'm more in control here. It's like, you can't unknow it too, <laughs> which is a frustrating a part of the spiritual journey. Like you can't unknow half of these things. You can't unlearn it. Uh, this is just a card that came with the deck. For those of you who have trust issues, I'm going to throw it away. It fell out though. Um, I'm using the My Sweet Love Life deck. You can check out King of Aloha here on uh, YouTube. He does, I think you guys would really like him. He's a Capricorn. He does really cool tarot readings, but like he gets to the T. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. He's not looking for the bright, bright side. And, and the, he's just like, listen, <laughs> let's get into it. And I love him for that. But my kids herself just is not that but you know we all have different communication methods etc so he's still needed i'm still needed yada yada but i'm using his cards and i absolutely love his decks he even sells them <sighs> oh a lot of these uh romance cards are like flying out for you guys scorpio <laughs> i'm like should i get into it yet or should i pull a few more okay So we have preparing in marriage. So I feel like you know what you want out of love. Preparing, doing the inner work. I feel like you guys have been doing that for a while. I feel like that's what the last cycle, um, you know, in your life has pretty much been about. And then we have marriage vows of love. So that's definitely a high level connection. Now, what is this about? This is the only card that's like throwing me. We have eggshells. I'm going to pull a couple more. Uh, defensive attitudes is what it says at the bottom of that card. Hidden motivations and long distance. So maybe some of you guys are, you know, feeling like there's distance between the life you want, the love you want, and that's because there is. And if you make that shift this week in terms of like life purpose, in terms of career, based on this opportunity that you get, if you say, okay, what's going to make me happy? What's my life purpose? What's my zeal? What's the thing that makes me feel complete? What's the thing that makes me feel good? If you address that, it's going to have a domino effect on the rest of your life. Hidden motivations, ulterior motives, unseen, long distance, love conquers separation. Yeah, there's definitely this energy here where it just feels like the person you want isn't where you are. Or you know what it is that you want. Some of you guys are having trouble letting go of a long distance connection. At the bottom of the deck, we have the focus card. This one says, um, zeroing in on the target. So under underlying energy is your attention honestly needs to stay on the prize right now. And um, wow, that's crazy because just like marriage, we have divorce here. You know, there's going to be a separation that has to happen for the marriage to happen. And this doesn't necessarily mean that this person is completely new, but you may need to separate from the person that, you know, you may currently be attached to. We have sexual attraction and divorce. Strong, sensual vibes, divorce, end of long-term connections. So there's definitely a transformation here and it's it's very strong. I'm trying to decide if I don't want to go there, but let's do it. I mean, why not? Maybe there's a message here for you. I got the Just Desserts deck. It's also a deck by King of Aloha Tarot. I don't like jumping to conclusions. <laughs> I don't like the energy of um there we go oof which is crazy i'm glad that i pulled from here we have deserted left out in the cold ghosted abandoned heartbreak left at the altar loss of support and ignored this is the karma you know that people will receive for you leaving their life deserted the Just Desserts Karma deck is the deck I just pulled from. So it's all sorts of, you know, karmic, whew, karmic responses to what people have done. And with that deserted card, you know, people are going to pay for 
what they've done to you, Scorpio. <clears throat> but uh, it's not your job to save anyone at this point, especially if, you know, they've committed crimes against you. It's one thing to allow someone to apologize so that they can move on, but it's another thing... <laughs> to stay there and feel like you're obligated to be the one to fix what they've created. Like at some point people have to be held accountable. I just see such a great opportunity lying ahead for Scorpio and I would hate to see you miss it because of a connection that you're wanting to hang on to. At the bare minimum, you know, separation, someone needs time apart to grow and expand and they have to do that without your safety net so that they'll actually do the work. We got the queen of air and the six of earth uh, queen of air, objective decision making, clear away all that no longer serves you, see the humor in a situation. And then we have the six of earth, gifts of money, time, and effort, new career opportunities, receiving loan or paying off debts. That's literally what your spread has been all about, Scorpio, like a new opportunity coming in here. And you do have to make this decision objectively and say, like, listen, I got to take this time to kind of separate myself and get the gifts of the universe that I'm due because regardless of what someone else needs you've already put in work in different areas of your life and it's time for that reciprocity for you and you know you shouldn't give that away by there's an exchange of energy in every communication with every person and and sitting and coddling someone and being there for them or staying where they want you to be is giving them that energy that's coming in for you so you can grow and expand as you deserve because of everything that you've done. We have take the helm, be in control of your own ship and perseverance, stay the course, focus on what you want, stay focused on what you need, what you deserve. And that's what I have for you this week, Scorpio. You can check me out on Etsy in the description below for your protection. That's the only place, you know, you can get a private reading from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. Also check out my free radio show. It's also in the description. I love you, Scorpio. Be careful what you wish for, and I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.